I feel like I need to bow down to the Queens of Beauty Con right here. Oh my God, the crowd is going wild. Like oh, y'all so are just, oh, the queen. You're so sweet, thank you. You're so sweet and you're so beautiful. Oh, don't even, the don't even get me started. Guys. Don't even get me started. You can see the effort you put in, you look good. Oh my God. Okay, well I gotta say, listen, let's go right to it. Um, Huda Boss. Boss. See, let's see. I need y'all to tease, like what is in store for season two? We were loving season one. Oh, um, just seeing you guys, seeing, I think seeing the personal side of you guys thank was just so incredible in the business of it all um so what's coming in season two? Oh my god there's a lot that's going on there's a lot of personal drama mm. um mona has a lot of stuff going on she's newly engaged yes. and that is interesting for the family to get involved in my crazy family so god save him <laughs> he doesn't run away <laughs> Never mind. We'll save it for the show. <laughs> so, seeing a lot of the relationships, that how that prog uh, how that progresses in season two. Yeah, I mean, I think that's really interesting. Mm -hmm. I mean, our family is really dynamic and crazy and dysfunctional. Yeah. We're super We're very tight. Dysfunctional. Mm -hmm. so dysfunctional. It's been a lot of pressure, but um, it's been fun. Yeah. There's been a lot going on with the company as well. We've been expanding. We have offices in LA and we have offices in London, so it's been super exciting. I feel like this season we actually give away a lot of nuggets on if you're trying to start your own business, Amazing. which was really important to us yeah. because we found out like a lot of our Facebook followers were actually people who wanted to start their own business. That's incredible. So we wanted to give away a lot of nuggets, a lot of knowledge. We drop a lot of knowledge in the show, um, and I hope people can really see and learn and you know hopefully get inspired and yeah. start you know their own thing. I mean, and just looking out, in my immediate vision is the giant Huda Beauty sign. So I mean, it's safe to say y'all are, it's safe to say y'all are just killing it Aww, right you. now. So sweet. Um, is there any dream collab that you would want uh, coming up with Huda Beauty? I mean, I want, I was gonna Lopez. put it out there. I mean, Jennifer Lopez. That would, yeah. that would be a dream collab. I actually said like she would be so amazing if we could do like a collection of Nymph with her. Yes. Can we do that? I think Jayla, so. if you're watching, let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. <laughs> and as um, someone who just seamlessly transitioned, you know, from YouTube to CEO, Boss Babe, um, <laughs> a lot of people are still trying to do that, and yeah, it's not. Good. I think people are learning that it's not as easy as it looks. It's yeah. not just showing up with Louis Vuitton to a boardroom. Oh my god. it's a lot of work, right? Oh my god, like managing a team is like still something that is such a challenge for mm -hmm. me. Like, you know, we have almost we have almost 200 employees. Making sure that everyone is happy. I mean, there's so much that goes into it. And then when your products are launching, there's like a million things that can go wrong. Quality control. I think people really underestimate the like the challenges of it, which is why I think it's really great if you can find good partners to get involved with. We didn't go that route originally. I um, would definitely do that if I were to do this again. I would get like a good partner. Um, you know, we have an amazing team. We're very blessed to have an amazing team. And is that the biggest key advice that you would give to, especially like an influencer who wants yeah. to start their own uh, their own brand? Because obviously, like, there's been not everyone can do it. It yeah. actually it takes a lot of work. So, do you yeah. think uh, having like a good team is the the key to success there? Do you know? I feel like when we started, it was a different time. I don't know if mm -hmm. we started now, if it would be as successful. It's so hard to break through. So, I really do feel like having your team. That's everything. Game changer. Find the right people to partner with. Find the right people who believe in you. And you know, and then just talk to your community the right way. They'll they'll know it's true. Mm -hmm. They'll know it's real. And when it comes to the brand, um, what do you want to develop next? I mean, you kind of done it all. The eyeshadow palettes, killing it. The powder, killing it. The foundation, killing it. I love you. What is po <laughs> What could possibly be next for Huda Beauty? Well, skincare is like my biggest passion. It's my biggest passion. <laughs> and I'll tell you, I haven't said this out loud yet, and I'm not allowed to, but. It's it's a new line. It's not Huda Beauty. It's am I allowed to say this? I'm worried. <laughs> it's amazing. You're allowed to say it. Life changing. <laughs> Life changing. Like literally, I'm actually more passionate about skincare than I am makeup. Which I know sounds crazy, but your skin has to look good before you put the makeup on, yes, there's right? Only so much makeup can do. There's yes, only so much makeup can do. Thank you for understanding mm -hmm. that. And honestly, like I want to also, I want people to feel confident when they take their makeup off. Mm -hmm. So this is a huge project for us. It's like major. I am so excited. If you ever need a test subject for anything, <laughs> literally feel free to throw it my good. way. No, your skin is too good. We need Absolutely people with problematic not. skin. Thanks to the Huda Foundation is why it's like the why uh, the illusion of it all. So sweet. Thank, Thank you, you, ladies, so, so much. It's so you. nice to meet you. You're such a cutie. Can we hug? Oh my God. Yes. I literally love you guys. This stuff is so much.